Let's go ahead and talk about how we can add a class and our students. You're going to want to use this method for setting up your AM and PM classes. Unfortunately, your students were not assigned directly to you, but the good part about that is you can actually put them into two, di two different courses. So we're going to come up to where it says students. Now keep in mind, you will not have all of these extra things. This is all from the demo account, so that's why you see all of this extra information. Yours should be completely blank. So we're going to go to students. Then we are going to add a section. And you can call it whatever you would like. And I'm going to just call it Cullen AM for my first section. And then I would create another one for Cullen PM for my second class. I'm going to leave the description course number. I'm going to leave all of this stuff blank. And I'm going to choose Create This Teacher Section. Once you click create this teacher section it's going to take you into that section I know I'm in the section because it has the section name here Cullen AM now if I want to add students I'm gonna come over here and click find students this then loads the roster of everybody that's been loaded into this account now again this is a demo account so these are demo students if I want to narrow by a grade level, so if I'm teaching fourth grade, fifth grade, third grade, whatever, I can click on the grade level. It will show me all of the students in that grade level, and then I would just click Add on whoever I find that needs to be in that group. Once I am finished, I can go ahead and click back on Home and you will see your list now here, Cullen AM. If I click on it, I can see my students. If I need to remove students or add more students, I can click Edit Roster, and I can add students by clicking Add and remove them by clicking Remove. If I click back up here where it says Cullen AM, it's going to take me right back into that group. This is also where I'll check for the assignments, any other le learning resources, and then uh, activity for the students when they've been logging in, how much time they've been spending on assignments, and all of that. But we'll get into that in the future. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I will be able to help you out.